All right, everybody. I am here with a very special guest, an interview I'm quite excited about for maybe some personal reasons. I think there's a very good use case here. I'm with the Umlet founder and CEO, Naman. And Naman is uh, building all kinds of stuff, a, a payroll solution, a lot of things that any kind of enterprise can use, whether you're a DAO or even if you own like a humble bagel shop somewhere out there and you want to pay uh, your, your employees in crypto or you want to accept crypto payments. Naman, to get started, can you give me just a very high level of what Umlet is and uh, what we can expect to, to do with this new uh, software that you're building? Sure, yeah, absolutely. So first and foremost, um, thanks for having me on. It's, absolutely. Uh, it's a real privilege to be here and to have the opportunity to, to talk with you and um, and share a little bit more about what we're doing here at Umlet. Um, so basically, um, Umlet is a, it's a, it's a purpose-built business-to-business payments infrastructure um and it's constructed of a, a number of components um and it really you know it really stems from our passion uh to to really accelerate uh, adoption especially within the sort of b2b uh, uh segment um and it allows um web2 web3 businesses alike depends on where you are on your adoption journey um, but it allows you to make and receive um, payments in either a B2B scenario. So if you're a business, um, if, let's say, for example, you're a, um, you're a crypto project um, and you are making and receiving payments, you are paying your, your employees globally, cross-border, uh, you are receiving and making payments to your suppliers, you are taking funds from investors, um, pretty much, um, you know, in, in all kind of aspects. Um, and uh, you have a one-stop shop, um, and it takes care of the entire supply chain. So not only can you sort of on-ramp your money directly from your bank account, and then all the jazz on Web3, and we've got some real clever features that we'll kind of go into a little bit more detail. Um, and then you can off-ramp the money back into your bank account. Uh, so we cover the entire end-to-end -end, uh, supply chain of payments, uh, whether you're a Web2 business or a Web3 business. Yeah, I think this is um, this is a really cool solution. I've talked about this before, but in order for crypto to really kind of reach like a, a mass adoption, as we say, you know, it's a term that gets thrown around a lot. Uh, accepting payments in crypto is something that a lot of businesses need to eventually adopt. But it's hard to, you know, as any kind of business out there, maybe not for for a Web three business that's paying developers in a in a stable coin but you know for the bagel shop or for the coffee shop or the restaurant or whatever uh it's hard to accept payments in crypto and then just have to go and, and change it into fiat and then move it into uh, a bank account so that you can pay your employees right payroll for almost every company out there i imagine is is the bulk of their expenses and so if you can come up with a solution that um, will actually pay employees in crypto and you can kind of, you know, it takes a little bit of, of greasing your employees to get them to accept crypto, but hopefully one way, one day we'll be there. Um, I think that's really one of the first steps to, to reaching that sort of that bright future that we all see where, you know, it, you don't have to ever touch fiat rails or deal with the banks. Um, so I was, I was very excited to hear about this, uh, whenever, whenever it came across my desk here at, uh, the Bytes Digital Group headquarters, um, I'm I'm interested to to talk about kind of two things you mentioned uh, to me before we started recording that there's there's a set of APIs for people that maybe are a little bit more technical and then there's like an online portal for normies uh, that you know maybe they're not interested in doing the coding they just kind of want an, like a Shopify or out of the box sort of solution can you talk about the differences between those two things and what they provide for uh, both audiences Sure yeah absolutely um, <clears throat> I think to contextualize that um you know the two the two aspects of our of our SaaS offering um you have to understand that um there is you know web3 payments adoption is on everyone's mind uh, and in a recent survey i think it was conducted by deloitte and paypal 86 percent of businesses in the us um, believe that they need to prepare for web3 payments within the next 18 to 24 months that's a staggering number however um, eighty-six percent of those businesses say that the reasons that prevent them from adopting it sooner is centered around one in technical integration challenges, um, and two the accessibility and the trust. 
um, aspect. Now, what we did was we took all of those, those challenges that you know, Web2 businesses face today um, and tried to resolve them by giving our customers two, two offerings. So let's take the first one. So a series of APIs. Um, you know, typically, um, you're a, this is sort of catered towards a more tech savvy organization uh, with a, sort of a large task force at hand. Um, and they have you know, pretty much uh, their own tech infrastructure. Um, and what they need to do is they need to integrate the Web3 payments element into their ERP system, into their legacy systems, et cetera, and then white label that, the, the, you know, the, the front end uh, on their part so they can, you know, start leveraging uh, Web3 um, facilitated payments. So that covers the, the sort of the real corporations, the institutes um, and the enterprises. And as you know, um, you know, and I've been in the tech industry long enough, that change typically comes top down. And once the institutions, the corporates, the enterprises sort of adopt it, it generally then trickles down. And, and, and that's the same for many, you know, sort of tech transformations that we may have seen over the last few years in Web2. And then you've got the sort of small to medium businesses, the bagel shop, I, as you described it, that need something off the shelf, um, don't quite have the time or the skill set to sort of integrate and plug them plug into their own tech infrastructure. They need something off the shelf. They need um, basic uh, expense management. They need treasury management. They need to monitor who they're paying, um, whether it's suppliers, whether they're, it's, it's their employees. Um, and then they need, you know, they need access to that very, very quickly. Uh, and so that the, 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 the online offering is, is targeted to, to those customers. Excellent. And um, you mentioned um, some, some statistics in the U S is this, is this offering like this out of the box offering, is this available in the U S where, where is this available? Uh, you also mentioned on and off ramps. So I guess it kind of a two part question. What, what fiat on and off ramps are available as well? Sure. So at the moment, um, you know, we are, um, just coming up to, 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 uh, to, to launching, and um, at the moment, in terms of uh, on and off ramping, we support pounds, so Great British pounds. We support euros, um, and we support, um, uh, of course, US dollars. Uh, however, geographically, um, at the moment, it's limited to UK, Europe, uh, and a couple of a few countries in the Middle East, namely the United Arab Emirates and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. However, the US, um, we're going to be working with some partners very, very shortly. So some big news coming up there. Uh, and it will be available in the US, again, to on and off ramp. Um, over the next, I would, I would say, you know, to, 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 as a firm commitment, Q1 early next year. Now, let's say that my hypothetical bagel shop's ready to partner with you guys. Um, do I need any special hardware or like, how would I accept payments? Do I need to do a POS integration? How does all that fun stuff work out? Yeah. So, um, we offer, um, payments via QR code. So if you have a POS system that is integrated into, into QR codes, so that can work right off the bat. Um, we are also ex exploring partnerships with POS, uh, systems out there. So we're trialing something in, in, in Asia. Uh, at the moment with it, specifically in the Philippines and Malaysia, um, which we believe will be a repeatable uh, use case for us to, to, to be able to replicate in, in other, uh, other jurisdictions. Right. Mobile payments in Asia. I remember I was in China maybe eight years ago and there was a guy wheeling a tofu cart around in this rickety alley. And I couldn't believe that when we bought it, bought the like, you know, the street food from him, uh, he he didn't even want cash. He pulled out a QR code and we just, you know, it was a QR code on a piece of paper that linked to his account somewhere. So uh, that's that's a huge market over there that I think is definitely, you know, light years ahead in, in the U.S. It's still very much card payments. And in Asia, they kind of skipped over the whole card infrastructure and went right into this next stage of digital payments, which I think Web3 will help kind of usher in. Um, um, yeah, but so anyway, uh, let me get off my tangent there about global payments. Um, so you, you guys have the, the dashboard, you have a demo you can show us, is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I'm going to just uh, share my screen. So hopefully you can see it now. 
Um, so specifically now, so as as we mentioned and talked about a little bit earlier, is that um, we have two, two, two forms of offerings, one which is these suite of APIs, uh, and the second is, is the online portal. So what you're looking at is the actual online portal here. Um, and once you log in, and um, just a quick note about log in, you know, logins, um, we use a secure method to, to get you in. So it's two-phase um, uh, security, uh, and we are non-custodial. So we don't store any wallets. And that was through one of the feedback that we had um, from a lot of businesses that we worked um, earlier during the development phase is that you know, extra security is, of course, required. And so we are non-custodial, and we don't have access to any of the private keys and and the beauty of the solution is then with the public keys themselves, uh, we actually hash them too to give that add extra added layer of security. And so when you're transferring money, so I'm just going to go ahead and 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 um, go ahead onto the transfer sc transfer screen here. Um, when you're transferring money, effectively what you do is when you send a payment, you're just using email addresses uh, and usernames, uh, and that's again in line with the 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 sort of um, ethos of what we're trying to achieve here, which is adoption, uh, specifically within Web2. Uh, and of course, you know, even today for Web3 companies, let's say, you know, you're a, you're a, you're a software development company in Web3, uh, you want to pay, you know, 20 developers, you know, you are now going into your wallet and repeating that same process 20 times. Uh, so, so what we've also done is you're able to do one-to-many payments. You're able to batch payments. So you can go ahead and sort of set up groups um, uh, over here. Uh, and once you've set up groups, you can go ahead and pay a group of or a, a group or a department or, or, or even individuals uh, and shoot that payment across. And, and you have a couple of options. You can either stream that payment in real time or you can do an instant payment. So we're trying to, you know, we're trying to not only facilitate you know and make make some of the challenges in web 2 a little bit easier but also leverage a lot of the web 3 tech to bring in some of these new features um for for, for our users yeah this looks awesome um this is you know unfortunately ust uh met its demise but this is something that i was hoping that you know people were were working on behind the scenes um because it was such an easy way to kind of just you know keep the us dollar in in uh on the on chain basically um but i do see that you guys do have it looks like uh tether and usdc uh also matic avax what what are those all the um all of the different options for which assets you guys offer or are there more what's what's the offering there yeah so absolutely so um you know we we were a um you know a sole solely sort of based on on terra initially to begin with um, and obviously, with the, with the events earlier this year, we had to we, we had to pivot a little bit. Uh, and with the integration of of stable coins into Terra V two, um, we felt it was a natural progression for the project to to support you know multiple chains. Um, and so we support Tether and Circle across as many chains as we possibly can. And that's that's basically the ethos. I mean, if you're a customer, you know you don't really care about what L one you're on. You just want to get your dollars over to you know, either to your supplier or, or, or to to your employee. That's basically what what you care about. And interoperability is absolutely key for us. Um, and so that's kind of where, you know, where, with the mindset that, you know, we want to mask some of that complexity away from the user uh, and make it very much technology agnostic. Now, I'm just spitballing here, but I'm going to assume that either USDT uh, um, ERC-20 or USDC ERC-20 probably have the most volume uh, as far as what people are carrying around by way of stable coins so if i'm running my my hypothetical bagel shop here uh am i able to accept payment in erc20 tokens and then um you know do they are they transferred over to like the axelar version um on, on terra how does that work yeah absolutely so you know we're using um layer zero technology or stargate um to be able to do that so um you can a person can send a payment from the Terra network if they have, you know, if they if they if they base chain and they prefer the Terra network, uh, and they have um, stable coins um, there, they can send that across, and we do everything in between. And if the receiver prefers to receive on, say, Avalanche or Polygon, uh, they'll be able to receive that um, onto uh, on, onto their address, and we do all the complexity and mask all of that in between. 
Uh, absolutely, and that's the whole idea of of the of the sort of cross uh, chain element um, uh, at Omelette. Bravo! I mean, this this looks awesome. Uh, I'm very impressed with what you guys have put together here. This looks cool, and I think. Uh, I mean, hopefully a lot of people that watch the show and are, are in the ecosystem would have a need for this. I think we have a need for this year, you know, as we kind of build out our projects and have developers that prefer to be paid in stable coins. I do see that there's a savings coming soon. Is that the treasury management portion that you spoke about? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we've through talking to our customers um, and some of our early adopters, um, we found specifically Web3 customers, you know, they they are already the adopters right they're the, you know they're the, they're the ones who are fully functioning in web3 um and so as a business they also have DeFi strategies um and other different types of of of, of say uh, saving strategies and we wanted to make sure that we bring the whole seamless experience where they can not only do the the actual payment stuff but they can also do treasury management have access to to DeFi protocols so they can you know so they can potentially add that extra revenue uh, and, and, and do stuff, further stuff with their capital. Right. Right. It makes a lot of sense. Um, and if, if there is somebody out there that's interested in onboarding with you guys, where do they need to go? Who do they need to talk to in order to get this thing, uh, working for them? So they can, um, hit us up on, uh, umlet.com. That's E-U-M. Uh, we are on Telegram, Discord, uh, Twitter at Umlet as well. So just, just hit us up. Uh, and, um, you know, we're, we're already taking slots in for the next round of, of beta users, um, ready to, to go live towards, uh, sort of towards the back end, um, of Q4. Uh, but yeah, so far, so good, you know, Re reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to help. All right. And just if you, in case you missed that, it's E U M L E T dot com. That's where you can find these guys. Uh, this is a really cool solution. It looks really slick. Uh, Naman, if there's anything else that I haven't asked you that you'd love to tell the people, please speak now or forever hold your peace, sir. <laughs> no, well, you know, I just, you know, I, I think, um, just some closing comments. I think for us, you know, the, 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 the we, we feel very, very passionate. Um, and the team has been involved in tech for the last, for the best part of sort of 21 years or so. Um, we've seen just about everything from traditional finance rails to, to now the web three and, and. As I said, the, the real passion behind this is to get everybody onto the next wave of, of the financial transformation that is about to happen. Uh, and, and, and a lot of blood, sweat and tears has gone into this, working very, very closely with, with you know, potential clients. And, and we've put a lot of hard work into this, but we want to you know, get you guys on board on the beta program, make sure that we uh, capture your feedback and, and you know, help us make this product even better. So, so yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you coming on the show and talking to us. Uh, again, if you want to get more information, E-U-M-L-E-T is how it's spelled, .com. Uh, This looks awesome. I'm excited to maybe even get into one of those beta groups if I'm allowed. Uh, I, I'm known to do a little QA engineering. We'll myself. find you a slot, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I appreciate it, sir. Uh, it's been a blast. Thank you so much for coming on the Bytes Digital Group channel. And we'll see you next time. Hopefully, you guys... Uh, come back on and give us some awesome updates in the future. Absolutely. Take it easy. Cheers. All right, man. Cheers.